Well, all this week, members of a Northeast Mississippi-based ministry have been rolling up their sleeves to help flood victims in the Jackson area. In part two of his series, Finding Hope, Allie Martin introduces us to volunteers who come from all across the country and all walks of life. For several days on the Jackson Relief trip, Gail Manning was busy assessing flood damage to homes and filling out paperwork. And another day, he was maneuvering a bobcat, helping clear debris from a yard. God's put it on my heart to go out and serve people, and this is the way I want to serve people now. Manning is retired from the U.S. Marshals Service and is a part-time investigator with the Union County Sheriff's Department. He has been volunteering with Eight Days of Hope since 2016 and enjoys helping people whose lives have been turned upside down by a natural disaster like the recent floods in Jackson. Once you get there, you pray with them. We always pray with the family members. If they're there, if they're not there, we're going to circle up and pray as volunteers uh, for safety and for the family there. Uh, and when you go there and you, or when you get ready to leave, they got a smile on their face. They know, they, they, they know there's light at the end of the tunnel. Volunteers hear about Eight Days of Hope in many different ways, some through Christian radio, others through their churches. And one law enforcement officer from Pennsylvania heard that a group of folks were coming to his town to help after a flood, and he was skeptical. I didn't know if they were a bunch of scam artists or uh, no idea who they were. Uh, looked good on the internet, so we spent some time with them. And we fell in love with the people, the organization. And so now we are doing mission trips. Uh, this is our fifth trip. And once Westover retires in a year and a half, he and his wife plan to volunteer full time with Eight Days of Hope. Volunteers don't have to have any special abilities, just availability. They need somebody to talk to because it's just so much that a lot of times it's all built up in them and they'll come in um, just yesterday our homeowner came in and she just had so much of it built up from the storm and and it just she let it all out and she's felt so much peace since she let it out and we just praise God together with her. Eight Days of Hope volunteers come from all walks of life and different parts of the country but they all enjoy sharing their Christian faith with others through word and deed. In Jackson, Allie Martin, WCBI News. She's from Rhode Island. Eight Days of Hope will work in the Jackson area on flood-damaged homes through March the 7th.